Right, I'd just like to uh, show you something that I'll give you a few tips on this handle sonata. It's a Largo from the Sonata number no. five. And uh, it's it's based on the, the F sharp melodic minor. So you have F sharp, if we do this in second position, played at one octave. So it wasn't very good intonation. So that's the melodic minor. The melodic minor. Up, six and seven raised, flattened. Well, it's natural. And the thing is, with handle, he. He um, doesn't agree with this. Um, he, he, he will, first of all, ascend the scale on the F sharp and the D sharp, and then, and then, then, then he'll flatten the seventh, seventh natural going up for a modulation. So we'll try and give it a go on this second position. So that's more or less what it should sound like. Because if you're using the fingering there, it gives you an idea of the tonality. Because obviously, you're playing in second position, the only problem with that all the way through, you can't accommodate the trills because you're, you're on the wrong finger for trilling fingers. So we start with third position. Try it once again. It's it, it, it's very tricky with the intonation there. You can see why, why people have problems. It is for you know after on I mean, those there's other technical issues on the other movements, but this intonation is a an issue here because of the tonality. Try again because uh, I think it's not quite there, is it? Intonation because you got because when you're playing with the continuo, it would it would it would it would sound out. But but the only guide you got is the open strings when you're when you're, when you're not when you're when you're playing on your own.
So that's all there is to it. You can obviously see it's an expansive melody it goes with. It's a loose free in the bar. But um, and I think that's quite tricky to pull off with a continuo player.